It's out with the old and in with new technology inside IU's Assembly Hall. The home of Hoosier basketball had its decades old sound system replaced. As News Channel 15's Randy Speeth found out, the project is tied to our part of the state. Over the past 42 years, technology has changed dramatically. 42 years ago, Indiana University built Assembly Hall. Since then, the men's basketball program has won three national titles. But one part of the building needed to be replaced. We are utilizing the sound system in ways uh, that couldn't have been imagined in 1971 when the building was first opened. Today, the university's athletic department wants the stadium to do more and more. When you look at a venue that seats well over 17,000 people and it's allowed 17,000 people, often at 115 decibels at the exciting moments of a game, with an antiquated sound system uh, and a venue that large, it would be difficult to, to reach all of those people. So we need to, to uh, find greater amplification. The university turned to Fort Wayne and Sweetwater Sound to install the new one in just 30 days. A project like this can take anywhere from four to six months. The, the problem the school had is that they needed to get it done very quickly. They have dealt with venues uh, of this size before, and of course it's great to have uh, an, an in-state vendor handle this situation. The work Sweetwater did in Bloomington was not much different than what it would do here at this theater. The only difference at Assembly Hall, there was more speakers and they were larger. Many of the speakers installed were like this, called line arrays. There were more than 90 uh, PA speakers involved, um, and that um, was in addition to uh, all sorts of um, amplification equipment, a, a large board for uh, managing sound. Playing music during timeouts, halftime, and in pregame, you know, multimedia with the video board. Uh, Live advertisements played over the video board as well. We needed a new sound system to be able to hit all of those angles that we're now trying to, to, to find for our fans on the average game day. Reporting from Bloomington, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.